everyone in this video we are going to see how we will configure our embedder server so uh, so in my case i am going to use tomcat for embedded server so our previous video we changed into undertow uh, for the embedded server so right now i need to return back that exclusion so i'm going to comment out that one so the exclusions so right now our dead and uh, this one also i need to remove so i comment out both sessions so right now we are ready to go so what i'm going to do is i have application dot properties here we are configuring out so many properties so the first one is server dot port that we already uh, discussed in our previous video the other one is server dot <coughs> address so here we can specify a specific address so if i am specifying like one two seven zero zero one i can do that but the thing is the default address is zero 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 so let's see how it's how it will behave so here i'm going here i'm just running my application okay so the process exists with the, this one so this ip address is not available so if i am just commenting out to make sure Okay, right now we have some issues, probably issues regarding, okay, okay, yeah, the thing is like, I, my exclusion is not correct, so I need to exclude the right one. So I comment out this session and I need to comment out undertow and JD. So what I did is I have an exclusion for Tomcat and I added undertow and JT in my previous video, but right now I am going back to Tomcat. By commenting out all the changes that I made so right now everything is fine I can import my changes so there is some bread element dependencies is not close yeah Okay, so right now everything is done. We are going over the same thing. Changing into 127. That's also an, an IP address available for my system. Okay, right now my application starts. So that's regarding server address where we, I can specify a custom IP address. Another one server. There are so many properties that we can see here, but uh, we are going only for selected properties that maybe in future we need to change. We need to configure. So this server error white label enabled true. 
So if I make it false, what is going to happen? I'm going to comment out this one and keeping this false. By default, Spring Boot provides a standard error page. The page is called white label. It is enabled by default, but if we don't want to display any error information, we can disable it. So what I'm going to do is I will comment this code also. And I'm restarting my server right now. So localhost 8081. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that localhost 8081 localhost 8081 Okay, Tomcat starter at 8086. Okay, this is a wide level error page. If I am making it as a false, what is going, going to happen? We usually doing if we need to customize that error. So I am restarting my machine. Right now, I, I can test that so there is no error page and I got the right error also. Circular view path error would dispatch back to the current handler error again. Check your view solver setup. So that's a one thing, and also. If we are setting this one, we usually have some uh, error pages that we can mention in server dot error dot path. So this is the default path for that but if we need some custom path that we can mention here so I'm going again with the same approach okay there is no explicit mapping for errors so you can see this one so this only works if, it, if we are enabling false and we have a custom folder so another one Maybe some of the most uh, interesting one uh, include exception faults. So I am making it as a true and uh, includes tag trace also. So if you need to include server dot error, includes tag always will work. I'm saving that and again I'm going restarting my system so here it's saying like no messages available since there is nothing to show regarding the stack trace Okay, the same way it will work. Then uh, 
another one server server tomcat maximum threads here I can specify maximum threads so this much of threads will be available for running an application another one is server dot tomcat no, tomcat server dot connection timeout it should be something like five seconds after that it will show there it will not try it will not try to get the connection so another one server dot maximum HTTP header size so the default is 8 KB so I can change into some custom 10 KB or something that we can do here so here 8 KB okay so I'm making 18 KB then maximum size of your request body so maximum max HD max swallow get max solo size this is regarding the HDA uh, maximum size of the request board so default is 2 MB if I need to change something like 12 MB that we can do based on our request requirements then another one to get maximum HTTP post size That also 2 MB. I'm just changing into 12 MB. So that's all the configuration side. There are so many SSL related configuration that we will discuss next video. So right now we can see how it will work for these changes. Okay, the application started without any problem. So those are the common commands. We can set so probably in a development environment sometimes we need more post sites sometimes we need more uh, HTML body so that we can set here also the maximum threads that's all for this video thank you for